Okay, it's Saturday, March 2nd. We're here at the History Harvest event at the Public History Center. My name is John Settle. I'll be interviewing Walter. And Walter, if you just tell us again how you heard about our event. Uh, one, of, one of your cohorts, Ashley Vance, was having uh, lunch, I think, at the Corner Cafe downtown. And she was talking to Michael, the owner, and Michael said, well, you ought to, you ought to talk to Walt Smith because he grew up here in Sanford. And so he called me, and I talked briefly with Ashley uh, afterwards when I got hold of her uh, later that day <clears throat> and told her, yes, I went to school here. We used to have some real mean hot volleyball games out here underneath the oaks. And uh, of course it was always a chore to run up to the auditorium and back down again for uh, major events. But it was hard to uh, keep your mind on your studies when uh, it was springtime and the wide open windows and no AC. You could either get sleepy or get distracted by what was going on outside. But it was a, it was a good school and uh, I want was, to say the uh, the, the marble uh, steps were actually cupped out because of the foot traffic that went up and down them all the time. That was, uh, I think, the first high school we had here in uh, Seminole County, and the first hot lunch cafeteria was uh, financed by the Women's Club of Sanford, and uh, it was down at the east end of this building. It was a separate wood wood frame building, but uh, back uh, back when I was growing up, it was like twelve and a half thousand people, and most of the parents knew who you belonged to, and you couldn't get into too much trouble because even if you ran as fast as you could, you'd never beat it back home before they knew what you had done. <clears throat> and retribution was coming of sorts. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what years that you went to school here? Well, it was, uh, let's see, I graduated from high school in 46. So go back uh, nine, four, four years, no, four, eight, eight years before, before 46, and that would be about it, because you had the junior high school, which is uh, seventh and eighth, and this was uh, six and seven. And uh, the elementary school, <clears throat> South Side, was one through four. And do you want to tell us a little bit about, about some of the items you brought today to have digitized? Uh, yes. Uh, mother was quite active in a lot of activities here in, in town. But it was, <clears throat> this was an album that I made up for our 65th high school reunion. And in looking at it in some of the uh, <clears throat> studies, we scrapbooks and, and papers, I found an article about two of the first attendees at Seminole High School. And uh, Gladys Morris, who married Herman Morris, who was my principal in junior high school as well as high school. And Elizabeth Lynch, she was a math teacher and one of the best I've ever run into because she could explain plain geometry and solid geometry simply where you understood what the heck to which she was talking about. And uh, real good, real good uh, background. But when they built the school, the new school, the one I just showed you, uh, they had, yeah, I wanted you to, the auditorium was down here at the end. In fact, that's, that's part of it there. But also, also in here, we had the, uh, you can hold on to it mm -hmm. a minute. That was when it was torn down. The 
auditorium. Uh, and before it, before it was, a lot of the alumni came back and had a final get together and a gab session with the, with the rest of them. But what I was gonna tell you about the high school was when they, when they got it built, before the students even got into it, uh, they had a hurricane come up. You know, we have those every now and then. And they, the, the city and uh, the city fathers in their wisdom said, well, heck, that's, a, that's the strongest building we got here unless it was the old ice plant. And uh, that can handle a number of people. So y'all come here and use it as a, a, a comfort station as well as a, a place to get away from the hurricane. And which reminds me, that's the reason why the old ice out, the ice plant here in Sanford was largest in the state because they were icing down so many bunkers and railroad cars as well as trucks that were going back and forth in the winter time. And uh, they were chipping out 100 carloads of uh, celery a day from Station Company Celery pre-cooling plant that my dad used to be a uh, comptroller for. And even back in high school, mid, mid uh, 40s, I remember dad writing a check to the uh, Duda brothers for the salary for that year, $1 million. So yes, we did have an awful lot of salary around here. In fact, Pellucci, dad put him on the cuff for, for a, a, a boxcar of celery cuttings that he put in his china dishes. Uh, Chung King, China Doll, and the rest. But there are a lot of, a lot of good people here in Sanford. I, I used to kid the uh, Western Union guy, the manager, that we just didn't have any uh, need for him around here because if something happened in town between the uh, phone and the rotary system and the woman's grapevine, they, they'd know about it way before he would <laughs> go from that. This was, this was a, um, let me get it out of here. I kept it because at one time I was on the football team. And uh, that was the 46. That was the 46 team. And we used to get in practice for uh, football by working on a little uh, spur line, railroad section game. And old Mr. Lumnack uh, always had a chew at the back end of his mouth, but. Uh, he says, boy, he got us together one morning and says, boys, y'all going to have to slow down a little bit. I can't find ties fast enough. We were, we were laying 100 ties a day, and that was back before they had those automatic tampers where you had to take it all out and put it all back manually and then tamp it down. But it got us in shape. This was working on the railroad? Yeah, it was a section gang in, in the summertime before we got into fall uh, school. But it was for conditioning for football? Yeah, that was one way to do it. <laughs> then then our, our coach was um, Hank Goose. Goose, they called him, it was his nickname because he had a long, he was a tall guy, but he had a long, slim neck. And uh, sort of remind you of Goose, so people nicknamed him Goose. But uh, he was an ex-pro uh, baseball player. In the first year he was coach, our team made it all the way to the finals. And darn near won the one thing. But uh, like I say, it was a good time to grow up in because the people cared about the kids, theirs and yours too. And. Um, they pretty well kept us from getting into too much trouble. That's great. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, 
Y'all come. Okay, I guess we're gonna we're gonna stop it now if that's okay. Okay.